The Funnies number 8 was published by Dell Comics, cover dated May 1937, featuring characters such as Ali Oop, Dan Dunn, Captain Easy, Mud and Jeff, Tailspin Tommy, and others. Some of the highlights include Dan Dunn's secret operative 48 in a one-page story from writer-artist Norman Marsh, reprinted from the Dan Dunn Sundays from 1936. Ben Webster's page was a one-page story from writer J. Jerome Williams under the alias Edwin Alger. This adventure story featured Ben Webster as the main character. Edwin Alger Jr., pseudonym of J. Jerome Williams, was the writer of Phil Hardy, drawn by George Storm in 1925. The strip appeared under the name Bound to Win between 1927 and 34. He is also the creator of the comic strip Ben Webster, or Ben Webster's Career, which appeared in newspapers between 1934 and 1940, and in comic books published by National and DC. It is possible that Alger did the art himself during the comic's early years, but in later years he had worked with several ghost artists. The Tiny Mites was a two-page story written by Hal Cochran with art by George Scarbo. And George Scarbo assisted J.R. Williams on the Out Our Way feature. He created his own feature, The Tiny Mites, in 1935. In the 1940s, he made his animal feature, The Comic Zoo, featuring characters like Blackie Bear. Some other highlights include Tailspin Tommy, a one-page story from writer-artist Hal Forrest. The Four Aces was also a one-page story credited to Hal Forrest. Why Big Brothers Leave Home is a short story from Sheldon Mayer using the alias Scribbly in the humor story, which even featured the characters Scribbly and Dinky. There was an actual one-page Scribbly story by Sheldon Mayer. And Don Dixon and the Hidden Empire was a two-page story from writer Bob Moore and art believed to be by Carl Fufer in this adventure story. And the two teamed up also for Tad of the Tan Bark in a one-page adventure story. And Annabelle was a short story from writer-artist Virginia Crosman. And it was reprinted from the Annabelle Sunday at the NEA service from 1936, dated April 26th. Virginia Crosman was one of the female comic artists of the beginning of the 20th century. She was especially known for the versatility of her style, taking over many strips from other artists, such as Annabelle from Dorothy Erfer and Marianne from Ethel Hayes, both in 1936. King Comics number 14, cover dated May 1937, was published by David McKay Publications. Some of the highlights include a Joe Musial Popeye and Henry cover, Flash Gordon and Mandrake the Magician appear, Jack Burnley art is featured, and there is a Mile High Pedigree from the Edgar Church Collection, one of the earliest comics that he owned. Thimble Theatre features Popeye on the cover from artist Joe Musial. There is a four-page Flash Gordon story from writer-artist Alex Raymond. Sport Features is a short one-page story written by Damon Runyon with pencils by Jack Burnley. And Mandrake the Magician appears in a four-page story from writer Lee Falk, pencils by Phil Davis. Mickey Mouse Magazine number 20, cover dated May 1937, was published by Western. Featured a lot of fun all-ages stories, including strips about Donald Duck, Pluto, Goofy, Mickey Mouse, Mortimer Mouse, and others. More Fun Comics number 20 was published by National Allied, Cover dated May 1937. The cover art is by Vincent Sullivan, featuring the character Spike Spaulding. Some of the other highlights include Thrilling True Stories, a two-page story from writer Richard Speed, with art by Craig Flessel in this adventure. Siegel and Schuster team up again, under the alias of Leaguer and Ruth, for a two-page Doctor Occult story, their fantasy supernatural story that had been running for quite some time. Pat Morgan returned in a two-page story from writer-artist Craig Flessel, who also gave us Hanko the Cowhand in a two-page story, his first appearance. Bradley Boys was a two-page story, also from Craig Flussell. Mark Marson of the Interplanetary Police returned in a two-page story from writer-artist Tom Hickey, an early science fiction story. And Siegel and Schuster gave us Radio Squad, a two-page detective mystery story featuring the characters Sandy Keene and Jimmy Trent. And one of the fun highlights of this issue is the promo ad for Detective Comics number 3. 
National Allied, or DC Comics, gave us another key book that month, New Adventure Comics number 15, featured cover art by Craig Flessel, and Steve Conrad Adventurer was a four-page story written and drawn by Flessel. Popular Comics number 16, cover dated May 1937, was published by Dell Comics. Some of the highlights featured include Dick Tracy in a four-page story from writer-artist Chester Gould, Little Orphan Annie, a four-page story from writer-artist Harold Gray, Terry and the Pirates in a three-page story written and drawn by Milton Caniff. Don Winslow is a two-page story written by Frank Martinek with pencils by Leon Baroth. And the team of Martinek and Baroth also gave us Boz and Hal in a two-page story. Leon Baroth was the leading artist of the daily Don Winslow of the Navy Strip from 1934 to 1952 that was written by Lieutenant Commander Frank Martinek. Tip Top Comics number 13 with the cover date of May 1937 was published by United Features Syndicate. Tarzan is the cover feature and inside the issue are Hal Foster strip reprints of The Lord of the Jungle. Other characters include Little Abner and the Captain and the Kids.